Hi folks, as promised in the last video, I'm going to show you how to mix some hydroponic fertilizer. There's a million ways to do this and each plant has a specific mix, but I'm just doing it real world. Uh, I have a small hydroponic garden and I'm going to do a general mix that I put in and show you what I do. First off, we need a basic understanding of what NPK is. It's uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. You'll see 10, 10, 10 video, uh, fertilizers and other fertilizers, and it always says NPK. A lot of people don't know what it is. Uh, basically, nitrogen helps with the leaves, uh, with the stems. It'll help growth a lot. Then you have phosphorus. Phosphorus helps with root production. Uh, also will help with flowering and helps with fruiting. So once the vegetables get to that point of fruiting, they'll use up more and more phosphorus. Then we have potassium. Potassium just helps with the overall health of the plant. Uh, health, helps it be good and healthy throughout its life. All right. So what we have, uh, what you'll need is basic baking scale that goes to grams. I use, you can use whatever you want. I use a mason jar. I use Master Blend. This is 41838. Uh, this I buy ours off Amazon. I'll put some links to all these products for Amazon. I'm not an affiliate or anything. It'll just help you out. So Master Blend. Then some calcium nitrate. Again, off Amazon. Fairly cheap. This stuff lasts me forever, too. Uh, then basic Epsom salt. Five-gallon bucket and something to scoop everything with. I'm going to go ahead and mix for a 50-gallon bucket, uh, but I'll put in the description the quantities you want to do. Just plain old five-gallon bucket. All right, let's get to mixing. So why do we want to actually mix and add stuff to a master blend that already has a mix to it? This has only 41838 to it. With the four, the nitrogen, you're not going to have any growth on that. The leaves are going to turn yellow. Uh, plants basically going to die off. So we want to go ahead and bring that nitrogen up to a good 20 then we'll have 1838. And we'll also add the Epsom salt for general health uh, of the plant. Keep in mind, more isn't better on these. You can burn the plant roots, burn the plant leaves really easy. If you want a decent mix, get it as close as possible. That's why we have the scale that will measure it out in grams. Some people measure it out in teaspoons, tablespoons. Uh, that just doesn't work for me. Maybe it works for you. All right. Typically, Master Blend will recommend you dilute each thing separately, then mix it together. Uh, Ken, this is real world. I never have had any troubles with just putting them in a five-gallon bucket blasting it with a hose some, then I dump it into my 50-gallon drum and fill that up. But we'll go there a little bit later. So mason jar on the scale. We'll start it. Make sure you zero it out. Make sure you have it in grams. Those are two important things. So what I like to use per five gallons, we'll use 12 grams of the Master Blend. We'll weigh that out. Just have a little scooper here. And again, I'm going to do it for the 50 gallons. So basically, there's 10 five gallon buckets in 50 gallons, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the 10 buckets times the 12 grams, which brings me, me to 120 grams.
And again, you want to be as close as possible to this. What I'm doing is a general tomato mix. I'll also use it on the peppers because they recirculate through the same bucket as I have my tomatoes with. Now, if you're in a hydroponic greenhouse or something like that, they wouldn't do it. But what I do this for is just food production and it tastes pretty good. So have 120 grams of master blend. I'll just dump it in my five gallon bucket. Then I'll use 120 grams of calcium nitrate, which I'm running kind of low on. I'll uh, have to order it from Amazon. And again, I'll put the links down below. So 120 grams of that. Whoop. I went a little over. So I'm going to dump a little back in. By the way, this is why I don't do each thing in the same uh, mason jar at the same time. If I go over, I can always take a little out. If I was dumping everything on top of each other, it would be tougher to take out. So I have 120 grams calcium nitrate. Dump that in. Then we'll do 6 grams of Epsom salt per 5 gallons. So we'll put 60 grams in here. Epsom salt always sticks on me. It loves moisture. Break it up a little bit. We'll dump 60 grams. Again, this is for the general plant health. grams of this. Boy, I got that spot on. 60 grams exactly. We'll toss this in our bucket. Then I'm going to go ahead, take this over to our hose. That's by my 50 gallon bucket of uh, fertilizer for the hydroponic garden. I'll blast the, that. We have really good pressure. I'll blast that. It will dissolve pretty much instantaneously. The Epsom salts are what takes a little bit of time. But we'll head over there. We'll do that. We'll get in the 50 gallon bucket. We'll add some more water to it. And I'll show you what we're growing. All right, we're out here by our little hydroponic setup. Uh, it's, I don't know, 400 square feet, maybe at the max. And we produce probably 800 to 1,000 pounds of food a year just out of this little setup. But here's the mix. We're right off our hose, so I'm going to go ahead and dilute it in this five gallon bucket. I just help the water pressure out a little bit. helps everything dissolve quite a bit. It has a kind of a yellowish Mountain Dew looking tinge to it. And turn the well up a little bit and give it a little more power. Again, that Epsom salt is what takes the most to dissolve. Now, can't really show it to you. So depending on how much you got dissolved just by your hose, you may have to go ahead and stir everything up just to make sure everything dissolves well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in our 50 gallon bucket that I have buried. Uh, should have buried it a little more. I got tired though. Helps us uh, maintain the water temperature here in Florida. Cooler water for hydroponics, the better. All right, one important thing, if you have a system like this, ours is pumping through the buckets and the pump's currently running. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pump off. That way I'm not pumping this concentrated mixture right into the plants. So I'm gonna turn that off. We'll dump this in the bucket and add some water and we'll be done.
earlier I had said Epsom salt is what gives you the trouble with dissolving. I meant to say calcium nitrate. Sorry about that. I don't know if you were able to see, but as I was pouring out the mixture, uh, a lot of the calcium nitrate hadn't dissolved yet. So I am going to increase our pressure to quite a bit. We'll put that along the bottom and that will dissolve the rest of that calcium nitrate in the mixture. And again, I turn the pump off. So it, we're not pumping any of that right now. Worst case scenario, once it's full and I turn the pump on and the calcium nitrate isn't fully dissolved, it will just go missing for a little bit out of the mixture until the pump helps it dissolve. The pump's all the way at the bottom of this bucket. So it will eventually dissolve. So we're just about full. I'll take you for a quick tour of our sad little hydroponic garden that got absolutely nailed by Hurricane Milton. Thanks for listening. If you made it this far, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll keep doing this. All right, here we are. I feel bad, not much to show. Hurricane Milton came through and knocked down most of our buckets, broke a lot of our plants. Uh, just made a general mess of things. Thankfully, I cannot complain though. In the grand scheme of things, we did not get much damage at our property. Happy growing, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hope you learned something.